and there's that mention of a display manager to start up automatically on boot so let's just finish that bit off and what I want to install is SDDM that's generally considered the most um, well yes yeah, I guess it's one of the more common ones um, and it says it's the one that's used from KDE as well so it kind of goes in with the uh, desktop environment that we're using It does say, yeah, before setting up the display manager, make sure the chosen GUI environment, StarTex or Wayland, works without problems. If something does not refer, refer to, uh, does not work, refer to the troubleshooting guide. So obviously it's working because we're using it, so that isn't a problem. So I'm going to go into SDDM. And start by merging it. So you can see this is a lot easier to use now rather than the text browser. Now these windows, you have to click on the title bar to bring them to the front, but they still work when you hover over them, when they get uh, they get focused by where the cursor is. So I've, the cursor is over the window in the background, so I can actually paste into that and type into it as well, because the cursor is bringing the focus of that window. So I'll press enter. In fact, I probably need to look at that to see the output. So it's selecting load more new packages. So that looks all fine. I'll just press enter and let that build. I'll go back here. Um, it says if there are performance issues, it might help to add SDDM to the video group, or the user SDDM. I've never found that to be a problem, but obviously if your hardware causes a problem, I guess it's probably going to be the video hardware that will be the issue and then that's something that needs to be done. There's something here about setup files. Um, I must admit I've had some issues trying to get this to work in the past and it's been a bit hit and miss. Um, generally the main reason I do this is to get the keyboard to work for a UK keyboard. So I'm not going to bother with this. Oh, there it is there. And I think if I remember offhand, the, yes, I think the issue is that this file set XKB map needed to be installed. Um, yeah, I'll do the setup for the keyboard, for the key map when it's installed, but, um, Anything else here is probably a matter of preference, such as selecting Wayland. So I'll just wait for this to build, see what it's doing at the moment. Okay, so it's installing QT. So this in itself might take a a while, five or ten minutes maybe. Uh, some of the QT packages can be quite large. So I'll wait for that to complete. Okay, so that's compiled SDDM. So I'm going to do the commands it says here to add in the UK keyboard. I guess what I should do is try and make this window a little bit smaller so that things fit in a bit better. Okay, so we've got to make a configuration directory if it doesn't exist. I imagine it won't do, but we'll... it does exist. There's already something in there. Let's just take a look at that. Okay, 
coax. Or if it does something, possibly. Um, create a file called override.conf. And in that we insert this line here which causes that script to execute. And then we uh, now we create the directory called scripts that refer to touch that X setup so it exists and finally make it make it executable and then we're going to edit that script to make some changes so we need to put in the shebang at the top there's a comment here about what you can do with this So I'm going to scroll down to the keyboard setup, which is this bit here. Put that in, save that. So I'm going to execute that to see if it will actually work. Yeah, see, come on, not found. So that's obviously why I've never had this working in the past. So I think that's with a file called uh, I can't remember the name of it off the hand now, is it? XKB something, I'm sure it is. Um, Oh, it's just a package on its own, it's as simple as that. So, set xkb map minus av. So, install that, and it looks like we had two news items as well. So let's take a look at that. So one's about Qt bump, version bump and Python becoming the default. So again, this is a new installation, so I don't need to worry about those. So I'll read 11 and 21 to get rid of them off the list. And the reminder, um, OpenRC, if the GUI libs display manager in it is not present, merge it with this. So it won't be at the moment because we haven't installed that. Um, oh, right, okay. So maybe SDDM has pulled it in then. And we need to edit the display manager config file to tell it to use SDDM. So at the moment it defaults to XDM. So I'm just going to add in, we've got that check VT equals seven. So I'm just going to put in display manager equals SDDM and save that. Uh, E-login D should be already in RC boot, RC update to start at the boot level. Uh, E-login D, there it is there to start the boot level. So that's fine. It's already running. To start the chosen display manager on boot, add display manager to default run level. So let's do that. That started. And we can start it immediately. I'm not going to run it immediately because um, we're in a graphical environment and it's likely to mess things up. Um, graphical configuration is integrated into Plasma, Plasma 5 settings by installing KDD, uh, sorry, SDDM, KCM. So I think that gets installed by default as part of the global meta package. 
So I'm going to keep this SDM page here. Um, it is a nicer greeting, this uh, KCM version of SDDM, uh, nicer to look at. So what I'm going to do now is go back to X server and we've done the display manager so I think that's probably the X server done. We can go back to running or installing uh, KDE properly. Before that what I'm going to do is I'm going to test that SDDM works and that it allows us to um, at least get um, TWM up and log, log in and get TWM up and running. So I'm going to log out of these windows. Um, I'll quit Firefox with Control Q. Uh, before I do that, I'll set up to remember the tabs. I will have to find my way around again. Uh, why does that keep me moving? Right, hold the mouse button down. Uh, open previous windows and tabs. So if I do Control Q quit. I'll just rerun that, make sure it has retained them. And yes it has. In fact it's also retained the window size and window location despite where I put it. So um, control Q, quit. I can come out of this window and quit this one. Control D there and I'll reboot <clears throat> and hopefully we'll get a login screen. And there it is, and it's also automatically selected the GB keyboard as well, so that's good. That shows that's worked. So I'll log in. And right, okay, what I need to do here is to select. Oh, that's interesting. Why? The TWM should have appeared there, so I'm not sure why that is. There may be some other functionality that's needed that hasn't yet been installed. Uh, but generally the sessions that are available appear here, so I'm not sure why that's not appeared. There may be some configuration, actually a text file that I haven't done, um, which one I can't think of. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control alt f one and just um, log in as before with StarTex. and carry on with the KDE installation, at least that will get working and it might do enough to um, enable TWM. Uh, actually, let me just check, see if I can edit anything to get that working. I'll check on another screen. Uh, 